Hello and welcome to this first video of the first module in the first of a two course sequence in uh, introductory business statistics. So as all of that implies, we are starting at the very beginning uh, of what will be a, th a long journey through uh, statistics and statistical analysis. So before we can really get into uh, a lot of the fun stuff, uh, we first have to look at, uh, you know, what are the basics? What are we doing in statistics? Well, statistics is, it, for the most part, it's the analysis of data. The analysis or the, the communication uh, of data. So how can we gather some information? You know, our, our data set is nothing more than a set of information. How can I analyze that and how can I communicate that? So before we can really get into any of um, those perhaps more interesting topics, we first need to understand the, the basics, the foundation upon which we can build this discussion. So when we look at data, we need to understand what are the different types of data that we can work with. Data is generally divided into four different groups. We'll look at nominal variables. We'll look at ordinal variables. These are both measures of categorical, oops, categorical data. So we can categorize uh, our observations. And then over here, we'll have interval data and we'll have ratio data. These are both uh, quantitative. So on the quantitative side, they have to be numerical. On the categorical side, they actually don't have to be numerical. They can be non-numerical or numerical. Now, at this point, I don't want to get into really defining each of these and going through a lot of the nitty gritty of these. We'll, we'll address that in some of the other videos. But at this point, let me just say that these different types of variables often referred to as scales of measurement or measurement scales. What it allows us to do is define a variable by how much information does it contain. A nominal variable contains the least information while a ratio variable, oops, a ratio variable contains the most information. And so depending on what type of information we are, what type of data, what type of variable we have, the amount of information that it contains determines what type of analysis we can do with it. So for the first part, we're gonna look at getting some practice and identifying different variables based on certain characteristics and how they fit in with these four different uh, types of, of variables. So that'll be uh, the first part. Then we'll look at data in slightly different ways. In addition to this measurement scale, defining how much information a variable contains, we'll also look at data uh, in terms of cross-sectional data versus time series data. So as the name implies here, uh, cross-sectional data, we're just looking at a specific point in time. Uh, how many cars were produced in June of 1999? So we're looking at a specific point in time and we're obtaining the, the values for a particular variable at that point in time. Time series data, now this is over a period of time. So now we're looking at how does a variable change over some time. And this allows us not only to understand its past, but also to look forward uh, into the future. Now that is beyond the scope of this first uh, set of modules. Uh, when we get into forecasting, that'll be somewhat later on. But we need to know what type of data are we working with, cross-sectional data or time series data particularly at this point, because that will be determine how we can communicate, how we can uh, demonstrate that type of data. Another distinction that we're gonna make beyond time, uh, beyond measurement scale and beyond this comparison between cross-sectional and time series data is also looking at discrete versus 
continuous. So when we consider something that is a discrete variable, uh, this is often referred to as, dif as answering the question, uh, how many? So for example, number of people, uh, number of cars, Right, these are whole objects. I can't, I can't divide these up into fractions. There's five people. There's ten cars. Uh, that's a discrete variable, as opposed to a continuous variable. Sometimes this is thought of as saying how much. So a, an example of a continuous variable might be time, weight, distance. Right, these are these are variables that I can divide uh, into increasingly small fractions or any size of a fraction, right? I can look at uh, 1.6325 pounds, right? So we can look at weight in any particular level, whereas a discrete variable, we're looking at a specific number of objects. So this is really a summary of what we're gonna be looking at in the first module, just learning some of the definitions. How can I differentiate between scales of measurement? What can I do with cross-sectional and time series data? As well as looking at different types of discrete versus continuous variables. So this is gonna get us started. This will help lay a groundwork, lay a bit of a foundation, so that as we progress through the course, we can use this terminology, uh, and hopefully everybody will understand what we're talking about. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you'll continue to watch uh, a number of these videos, and I do hope that they will be helpful. Okay, let's get started on our first problems.